Hi there, how's it going? Album review time, hope you're ready for it. I am, and this week it's Guy Sebastian with his newest release, Like It Like That. But Guy Sebastian's best known for winning Australian Idol a couple of years ago, I think it's fair to say his reputation's far exceeded a single competition. He's now released five albums and uh, that's kept his profile up. Admittedly, I'm not much of a Guy Sebastian fan, but this new single has got my foot tapping and even lingers in my head for hours. The album features the very beautiful Jordan Sparks and the very bluesy John Mayer. Uh, I like that. The, the album's called Like It Like That, so oh, it's not a joke. Been funny, yeah, it? I'll, I'll do, yeah. I'm the funny one, I'll do the funny one. One problem I have with the album is I feel he's repeated himself in the album cover department. We all know what he looks like, and after five albums, we, we should see something different, you know? Maybe next time he could be a policeman, or a fireman, or a space policeman putting out a fire. All in all, it's a pretty good album, but not amazingly original. So we give it three stars. Go online to win a copy. Now, Candice from INTV has actually met Guy Sebastian before, and she said that he's a huge fan of Facebook, so I think we should bomb him with friend requests. <laughs> okay, yes, the dogs are ready. We are going to have our Smooch Pooch Parade right now, thanks to Kelly in Wellington from Smooch Pooch, who's hooked us up with a whole lot of cute outfits. So. Without any further ado, let us begin. First up, we have Puffin, the Pomeranian. Now, Puffin is, Puffin is very relaxed right now and being a VIP, in fact, still sporting the dressing gown <laughs> from her, his sleep. And of course, underneath you can see lemon pajamas even. Next up, we have Paku. The Jack Russell, you may recognise Paku as Matthias' dog. Of course, you can add Paku on Facebook if you like. Uh, Paku is wearing a pink coat with studded bone design and a leather look. Next up, we have Maya, Dion and Molly, the Chihuahuas. Now, Maya has a, uh, a swirl with the fur trim. Dion is wearing the knitted couture and Molly is sporting the spotted cotton number. Please welcome to the stage Eliel, another Chihuahua, smooth coat, and Sylvia the Chihuahua, long coat. <laughs> now Eliel is wearing the couture sweater, the pink one, and Sylvia is wearing the black designer knitwear. <laughs> Please welcome to the stage Benji. Come on up Benji the Chihuahua, long coat, wearing a camo coat. Uh-huh, uh-huh, and a spotted bandana. <laughs> Very cute. Last but not least, we have Maddie to welcome to the stage. Maltese Terrier, uh, wearing the stripy casual wear <laughs> with collar. That's right, Maddie, get amongst it. <laughs> Please give a big round of applause to all our models. <laughs> interested in dressing up your dog, go to smoochpooch.co.nz and there's a whole lot of outfits up there. In fact, we have five packs to give away online if you're keen, so get into that. <laughs> oh, it's all happening. Now we've got Wool and Dan up next and um, with their ever increasingly funny adventures. You are suspended from work until you have completed one whole entire week of school. School? Dan, this is Wilma. Hi. We're going to the new NASA Space <laughs> Center. Yeah. Hey, Dan, do you want to be my partner? So we were heading off on our school trip to the new NASA Space Center. I got paired up with Will's sister, Wilma, and Will was behaving like a right knob. Dan was sulking like a pansy little girl. You know, that's quite sexist. You should be careful. And can you blame me, really? So hey. Yes! Wiggy, 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 wiggy! Hey, Dan, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? What's with me? Do you not remember any of yesterday? You harassed me all day. You ditched me. I, aren't you supposed to be my friend? Look, the thing is, Dan, um, I'm popular now and you're not. We can't really hang out anymore. Whoa! Listen up, 13J. Space. It's one of the most fascinating and perplexed concepts ever imagined by humankind. I'm hoping this will quite literally blow your mind. Our galaxy, the Milky Way, is traveling through space at a speed of 305 kilometers per second. 
Furthermore, it is rotating at a speed of 225 kilometers per second at the outer rim. This leads to a combined velocity of 530 kilometers per second. Over one minute, you will move 19,000 kilometers. That equates to a speed of 1.2 million kilometers an hour. I don't understand any of this, Dan. Well, constant velocity through space is almost redundant without something to compare it to. You're so clever! <laughs> well, yeah, I'd love to make it out there one day. You'd love to make out with me? No, that's not what Dan, it is. stop it! You're an animal! This is inappropriate! Dan, you're an animal! You're an animal! So, <clears throat> that's not what I said. I said I'd like to make it into space one day. Dan, I think I'm in love with you. Um, we should get married. I, I can see our babies now. Uh, you see, Wilma, there's, uh, there's really only one girl for me. Um, yeah? And that's the, uh, the talented, yeah? vivacious, yeah? brilliant, exciting yeah? Aaron Simpson. What? Aaron Simpson? You love Aaron Simpson? What about me? You said you loved me! Uh, uh no, I didn't. But damn, I'm in love with you! I want to be, I want to be your wife! I want to have your babies! I'm going to find you, Dan. Ah! Oh! Oh! Whoa, 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 it's me, it's me, it's me! Oh, Dan, hi. I've been looking for the lunch shop. Where's the lunch shop? I don't know where the lunch shop is. Hey, look! Bro, what did you just do? I pushed what the did you lunch button, and I pushed the lunch button. I wanted lunch, so I pushed the lunch button. That's his launch, not lunch. Ten seconds to it's launch. Ten seconds to lunch. Nine. Lunch, 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 Tune in on Monday for some out of space action. Now we have some special guests to uh, introduce you to. This is Dominique and Michelle, and this is Skittles, the bearded dragon. You guys have brought Skittles in from Animates, and we've got some questions. Oh, what's your favourite food? Well, it depends on the bearded dragon, but most bearded dragons are omnivores, which means that they actually have to have veggies as well as meat. So they like lettuce. Um, uh, tomato, carrots, um, as well as worms, snails and things like that. But we need to make sure we get the right worms and snails. So we actually have them in containers and things like that at Animate so that they have no pesticides or anything like that on them. Nice, good oh, question. And, um, how come they can't eat any avocado or rhubarb? Well, there are some things that they can't eat because it's actually fatal. So we take you through a bit of an adoption and tell you what's right and what's not right. Um, but yeah, some of those things are actually really fatal for them. So you need to be really careful. And is that a thermometer in there? What's it for? Yeah, it is. All enclosures we put thermometers in. And the reason for it is because the bearded dragons actually come from Australia in the desert where it's really hot. So we need to make sure that it's 35 to 40 degrees in a certain area of the tank. And then what they do is they come down to other areas where it gets nice and cool. So Skittles, for example, likes to jump on the windowsill and have a lot of warmth when she's out, especially on a summer's day. And then when she goes back into her enclosure, we make sure it's up to temperature. Dominic, is she really um, prickly? Or is no, it? she's actually surprisingly soft. Do you want to touch? <laughs> oh, oh, hey, buddy. Hey, hey, hello, buddy. Yep. Okay, okay. You've got to think these guys are, um, you know, they've been around for millions of years, so they've Good kind of got it. that kind of reptile yeah. feel to them. Oh, that's fantastic. Now, take a look over here because we have Andy who's brought in some chinchillas. Now, of course, chinchillas can't get wet, so at the moment they're currently bathing in dust. Is that right, Andy? Yeah, that's correct. And it's um, basically, it just replicates um, pumice sand, which is what they use in their natural habitat to um, dust, and um, just stops them getting any oils in their fur. Yeah. And a little turbine going and on if, in there. If, if they do get wet, they basically, because they're so furry, they just get a, a mould yeah. build up on their skin. So that's what we're trying to stop. Anybody got a question for Andy? Uh, yeah. Um, since they can jump 1.8 metres, how do you stop them from like escape from escaping? Yeah, it's um, pretty difficult, because we do, like we have to keep them in a big cage, but we let them out um, once a week, just running around the kitchen, and you've just sort of got to let them run around you and just catch them when you want to put them back in, just grab them, but yeah. Um, if they do escape, how do you catch them? 
Um, yeah, we just just grab them, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, or, or they'll or they'll eventually come to us as well. Wait for them to come out of their little hiding place. Get out, get out a wee treat. Um, popcorn's quite good, but I as really long as like they popcorn. don't as long as they don't have too much of it, yeah, because they got sensitive livers. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so since their teeth don't stop growing, what do you do to stop? Um, we use a cuttlefish, um, a dried cuttlefish, and also yep, and also um, in their um, main palate diet. There's also some little harder, <laughs> harder treats which they eat to grind their teeth as well. Ah, oh, these dudes are so cute, aren't they? Thank you to everyone for bringing your animals in. This is fantastic. Now we've got some more animals on the show right now. It's this week's Kitty Cats. This week on Copycats, Lara Cruz, Jacob Osborne, Anadu Makaidi, Bethany Williams. Go online and vote for your favourite of the week. Bye -bye.